Hi, welcome to Data Talks. My name is Paul. I'm the editor for the channel. We're doing another Learning by Doing series, and this one is on Pandas data frame and series creation. And this particular data set is the Pokemon data set. Let's just jump right in. Uh, first one says an introduction. This time you'll create the data. Uh, step one is import the necessary library. So let's just do import uh, numpy as np import pandas <laughs> I was trying to use the autocomplete there as pd okay so that is done a uh, step to create a data dictionary that looks like the data frame below hmm so this cell and this cell have been run in the notebook that's kind of unusual um, we have this data frame floating out here, so they must have something to do with the creation of that. I, don't, I wonder how you get a data frame to just pop in. It's quite a parlor trick. Let me think about that for a minute while we move on here. So we need a data dictionary that looks like the data frame below. And just looking ahead, assign it to a variable called Pokemon. Pokemon. I'll bet you we're going to use this data dictionary to build that data frame. Um, given the nature of this exercise. So um, how about uh, data dict equals, let's make ourselves a dictionary folks and this one's gonna hurt a little bit because I don't think there's any fast way to get around this other than to just type this stuff out. Uh, copying and pasting will be somewhat helpful but at the end of the day, it's gonna take a minute. So what I've done here is made a key key you might notice corresponds with the feature name in this data frame and uh, that's not an accident as you'll soon see you can very easily construct data frames from dictionaries and in fact I do it all the time uh, at work I mean frequently in fact it might be one of the things I do the most um, I really become uh, a fan of dictionaries lately. Sorry, I was having a hard time typing and uh, talking. So the key is name. First value, we're going to pass it as another list like all the other times is uh, Bulbasaur. Um, this reminds me of that one dude, um, <laughs> this video where <laughs> He just uh, getting all the names wrong. Um, I guess he came up with his own names, and <laughs> it's uh, it's quite humorous to me. All right, uh, Pokedex. I guess we have here. i never. I guess this is a game and uh, a TV show. I guess I don't really know what any of this stuff is. I'm just these are just words to me. You might notice I have not even reflected down on that last series other than glancing at it one time because due to my amazing mental faculties, I'm able to uh, glance at a binary series that repeats and um, recall it from memory for two iterations. Yes, spectacular. All right, tried to fill the space there some talking, everybody, uh, and a bit of what I try to pass off as humor. So we have this data dict now. Looks good so far. Um, step three, assign it to a variable called Pokemon. I'm assuming that's the data dictionary, but we have this data frame sitting here. And you would sure think that they want us to make the data frame because then the next one is talking about the data frame. So let's, let's assume that we want to make a data frame here and that the, the data frame is supposed to be called Pokemon equals pandas data frame and then we're going to use this uh, from dict uh, method and I'm going to pass it the data dictionary and I'm pretty sure this is all we need all right that looks like a dead ringer to me I like it I like it a lot now if I were to um, Take this and just make another cell below. Darn it. Hit the wrong thing. Command C. Make another one and then erase this 
and then save this notebook, would we not have this? Mystery solved. All right, it's still an interesting little parter trick though. So step four, ops, it seems the data frame columns are in alphabetical order. Please order the columns as name, type HP evolution in Pope decks. So um, now I've made this mistake before as simply doing a, uh, an assignment of columns thinking that was going to get me what I wanted. And this is the mistake I'd made previously. Assigning this to columns. And um, all this would do would be to leave the features in place, all the values in place, but change the name. That's the last thing we want. So don't do this. I didn't do it either. Um, what we're gonna do is this instead, poke on and then we want a double bracket uh, to make a data frame really we're going to uh, reassign the data frame back to itself but we're going to copy the names and the values that go with them into the new version so let's check our work here and here we have it name which is bulbasaur type is grass hp is 45 etc etc so these changed the order and kept the correct values in the process. Step five, add another column called place and insert what you have in mind. Okay, well, Pokemon place equals, guys, I don't know anything about po Pokemon. I don't even know how it's supposed to be pronounced really to be sure, for sure, but uh, Pokemon, Pokemon, Place, okay, so how about something super creative? Uh, place one, hotel, beach, and um, Silicon Valley. Boom, and then let's take a look at our work. Here we have place. Alrighty. Present the type of column of each column. Present the type of each column. Present. Well, um, so each column is a panda series. I'm assuming the, the type here is like a D type. Uh, so let's do Pokemon uh, D types. So name is an object, type is an object, HP is an int, and evolution, Pokedex, and place are all also objects. And then finally, create your own question and answer it. Um, okay, well, I can create plenty of questions. I don't want to answer, like, what's, what is exactly what is Pokemon? But uh, um, let's see here. How about what is the average HP? So, Q, question. What is the average, meaning mean, HP? So now that I've set that up, Pokemon, and then let's just grab HP and then pass that Panda series to this mean method, which I think will work. It does, 43.25. That answers that question. So um, that's walking through this exercise. Um, hope it was helpful to you. And if you hope you can forgive my uh, ignorance of Pokemon, uh, feel free to enlighten me in the comments. Also, if you know what I'm talking about with that one dude that keeps saying the wrong Pokemon names, uh, that one's pretty funny too. Hope, the mess, hope all this uh, uh, finds you well, and please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. It helps Nate and myself, and um, see you at the next one. Thanks.